Okay, today we have come up the lickies, although the weather looks rubbish. I'm it's, not, it's, mm, it's not going to rain, I don't think. Like, there's no forecast for rain. Please but no. It's, please, please no. Yeah, so it, but it does look a bit chilly. So we're all in what I've got a coat on, everybody's got I've a hoodie on. And we're a little bit more wrapped up than normal. My legs match my hoodie. Where's the summer oh my legs, my legs match my hoodie. They do. Oh, my lights are still on. See, I've even had my lights on in the car. But yeah, we're going to go for a nice walk, get some fresh air, fill our lungs with all that lovely wood smell. My bag, pass me my bag. And uh, yeah, I'll show you around no, as we go. Okay, no. actually raining. <laughs> not a lot. It's just drizzling a tiny little bit. We're not giving up though, I don't care if we get soaked. I'm going for this walk. I haven't been out for a proper walk like this for ages, so, well, I say ages, it's been a week. It's not really that long, but feels it in lockdown, doesn't it? Oh, straight to the tree to climb. Oh, my happy place. Is this your happy place too, Ruben? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Not in this weather. Not in this weather. It's not that bad, you village. Every time we get really high, it stops to rain. Because I can't feel the rain anymore. Yeah, no. It, it does look like it's going to chuck it down that. If you can see the clouds over there. You can't really see. It doesn't show much on camera. They're quite dark, them clouds. So let's hope we don't get stuck in a proper, proper downpour, hey? <sighs> you know that's not coming home, don't you? Yeah, this is taller than this one. Oh, kids, man. Why do they always pick the absolute biggest stick? I really don't get it. Seth just slid it down on his bum. He's like, ow, oh, that hurt. Because I'm like, get down, get down. Can you get him? Lois is up there. God's sakes. Like, grab I'm down not on your white joggers. I'm wearing black. Still not. No. I'm going to climb up in there. <gasps> Little kid. Get off your bum. Oh. Uh, best sister award goes to me. Well done, Grace. Well done. Little menaces, man, on their bum. We're back home. Um, I'm just doing some printing. I'm actually just copying some of Ruben's um, sheets out because he says that this is too difficult to do on normal paper. So I'm photocopying it. Huh? I'm hungry. Huh? What did you have? You had a snack since you've been home. What don't you go and sit and do your work? You're not having something else. Mm. Oh, these kids, some food, man. Oh. It's a little bit later. I went into a bit of an animal crossing vortex. <laughs> my niece is on Animal Crossing. Um, well, my two nieces are on Animal Crossing. But my one niece messaged me. And she was like, do you need a ladder? Mum said you need a ladder. Because my sister is also on Animal Crossing and was asking me questions about it. I was like, I do need a ladder. And she was like, come to my island and I'll give you a ladder. I was like, how do I come to your island? <laughs> I don't get it, mm. you little cheeky boy. Um, oh, and I've, I've done haircuts as well, <laughs> again, haven't we? Right Put your now. head down a minute, step away a bit. So I think I did better this time, turn around. Like, with the, there's not a step in his, see, stay still, really still. See, there's not a step in his hair this time. Did good this time, didn't I? I went a lot shorter, felt a little bit more, like, no, I wouldn't say I felt confident. I was just like, right, I'm going to get this. I'm just doing it. I'm just chopping all the hair off. Anyway, yeah, back to Animal Crossing. Um, I was like, how do I do that? And she was like, do this, this, this and this. So I was like, okay. So I did that, that, that and that. <laughs> and then I went to her island and she gave me a ladder so I can get to the rest of my island now. And then she was like, get this fruit and plant it. I was like, I'm oh, okay. I didn't know that. So. Oh, it's not nice. Well, don't don't carry your cup if you think you're gonna faint. Put your cup down. Um, so yeah, like I don't know if you play Animal Crossing or not. Let me know in the comments down below. But I'm learning, and Grace was playing with me as well, wasn't you? Well, you was watching. Yeah, Grace had started Animal Crossing, but she ended up on my island somehow, which was a bit weird. 
it. It's all a little bit. You think it's because it's on the same switch? Yeah, we think it's because it's on the same switch. So we think we might have to um, get Animal Crossing for another switch. But it's like forty pound a game, forty fifty pound a game. So it's it's not exactly really feasible just to buy loads of Animal Crossing like for all of our kids anyway. It's sad, but yes, I've had an Animal Crossing afternoon. I've also done the um, vlog, which has just gone up. My birthday one. I'm a couple of days behind, but it's okay. And yeah, we had lunch, didn't we? We cut your hair again as well because you had a shower. Your hair doesn't exactly look that great because it's um wet. But um, I did it like. I can't explain it. I did it, my hairdresser friend was like, no, you need to do this, you need to do a hot cross bun on her head and cut it like this. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, but we'll give it a whirl. We gave it a whirl, didn't we? And now I'm gonna put dinner on because it is that time of day. We did homeschool as well. Okay, I'm not mentioning, I haven't been mentioning homeschool as much, but we're still doing, as much really we're not you know we're getting through it uh, the little boys learnt their shapes today so we've got these just to help them and then they had to do um word sheets and stuff on that they did some handwriting as well elijah did some online maths reading you know the usual spiel grace is doing um workbooks that she brought home from school Ruben has been doing um his 11 plus so he did a maths paper today and he also did a non-verbal reasoning paper today as well he's actually getting through them quite quickly so time wise he's not doing too bad but he did get confused on a couple of things um perimeter and ratios so we're going to go over them again tomorrow so we'll focus on that so what i've been doing is an 11 plus paper and then the next day we focus on what maybe he struggled with whether it was comprehension we'll do another comprehension paper and etc etc just like that just you know plodding along plodding on through plodding along singing a song oh, she's sulking because she wants animal crossing my birthday present we had a cup of tea i had a toffee crisp Adam's working. Are you working till midnight? I'll be working till I'm done. Could be midnight, could be two in the morning, could be four in the morning. I just don't know. He's got to get um, I don't know, snagging certificate reports to the site so that they can fix everything that's wrong so that he can then put in that it's all fixed so he can then give them a certificate <laughs> oh yes it's all very exciting isn't it <gasps> oh. but yeah so we've had a really obviously we went for a really long walk this morning as well got our legs stretched so we've had quite a good day i'm gonna get dinner on and then i'm gonna go sit and play animal crossing <laughs> need to get my museum up and going. I haven't got my museum up yet. I need to catch some animals and make some donations and stuff. Oh, I know. I know. It's crazy, isn't it? But you've got to do what keeps you active and, you know, keeps you entertained for a bit. What are you doing? Look at what the boys have done to my playroom. Seth and Elijah, you need to tidy this up. Or... Okay. No, you're not turning up for Animal Crossing. Oh, I'm turning this telly off.